So that terminal window is connected to this uh, 6502 machine through a serial cable. That's, that machine can use either its own keyboard and screen or the console through the serial cable. And I'm attached to TerraTerm and I'm going to upload a program. It's a fourth program and it computes the character cell Mandelbrot. It's based on the RC 2014 that if you've seen that video online, that video is using the basic program, uh, programming language. Now I ran that out of curiosity and found that it was pretty slow. It took me almost 21 minutes for it to run on a 6502 machine in EH basic. So here it is, it's fourth, and you're going to see it typed out here. It's going to be uploaded through the serial port as if it was being typed in. So it's an easy way to just enter a program. And this uses, rather than floating point like the basic program uses, this uses fixed point. And I use roughly a 5-bit fractional component uh, out of a 16-bit uh, number which is pretty much uh, enough to do the level of granularity we're doing here. At times I use maybe a 6-bit fractional component because I shift the bits around. Here you can see it's scanning. It's doing an essentially an 80-column display where it's using a half-toning technique with characters. This is the old ASCII art technique that was really popular in the 70s and early 80s before graphics displays. The RC 2014 does the same thing. It scans across and for each escape value for example, this set escapes from the set very quickly, it, it uses the period, this a little slower, it has the, the back tick, this even slower, it's got the semicolon, comma, tilde, as you go toward the center of the set. Cells that don't escape are black. So it's very much like the typical uh, graphic method of rendering the Mandelbrot set. If you the Mandelbrot set actually came, was discovered back in the 70s before computer graphics were all that common and Bonite Mandelbrot actually rendered it the first time and there's a, a if you google it you can actually see the picture online uh, on a printer using a technique that, uh, that is similar to this. Uh, I've been able to, to zoom using this program so you can zoom in on like let's say one quadrant. To do that though you've got to tweak how much you uh, essentially how much you use for the fractional component because you want to tune your calculations for the region you're in. Uh, you'll also see that it slows down as it scans across a black area. That's going to take a full 20 iterations to realize it's not going to escape. Whereas in one of the areas that escapes quickly, one round of calculations as the cell escapes, so it's fast. Now, I'm going to put a link in the description showing how uh, there's online, there's YouTube videos showing the RC 2014 rendering the Mandelbrot set in a similar technique using a basic program, it's a lot slower. The fourth program is a lot faster because these old-fashioned 8-bit machines didn't have multiplication instructions or floating point hardware. So doing floating point calculations on them was very slow. Fixed point was much faster and if you could avoid multiplications using bit shifting, which I use as well, you can save a lot of cycles also. So as a result, the fourth program is significantly faster than the basic program. This will take about four minutes, six seconds or so to do, versus like 21 minutes. If you had a basic programming language that supported integer data types and fixed point arithmetic, you probably could tune it to be almost as fast as the fourth program. But out of the box, basic is a beginner's language. You know, it's okay. I cut my teeth on basic when I was in my teens. It doesn't really expose you to data types other than matrices, floating point numbers, and strings. It doesn't have integers as a sort of built-in type. EH Basic, by the way, does have integers, but they only support hex. So probably if I had tweaked a little bit more, I could have gotten some better performance out of EH Basic. But, you know, I just decided, go straight to fourth, it's much faster. Fourth, by the way, it was a language that had a lot of interest back in the 8-bit era because it was almost as easy to use as basic but almost as fast as assembler so a lot of people learned it back then Atari used CoinOp 4th to write a lot of their video games in 
and it produces very compact code. It has like a stack-based machine. The basic ideas of Forth were inherited by a number of other programming languages. For example, um, uh, PostScript uses a very similar sort of uh, uh, stack-based machine for doing its work. And I've heard the Java VM uses sort of a similar stack-based machine. You see it's almost done, and so we're going to be done in about four minutes or so. And it's going to just crank out those last few lines really quick. And there'll be links in the description to other things of related to Mandelbrot.